the good news is that the bear market, which has been um, gruesome and taken quite some time, if we look at the, this is 2008, 2009, this was the Lehman crash. Actually, this is the commodity index, the CRB. And um, as you all know, I'm great in market timing because I started the Commodity Discovery Fund in June 2008. That's the red dot. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, since then we had a, a bear market for, for, well, almost 10 years now. Um, and that really took a toll. But if we look at the end of the graph, we've seen um, a bottoming phase since early 2016. This was the first recovery. We had a 70% return in 2016. And now finally we see a pattern of um, bottoms getting a little bit higher. These were the gains, uh, what was it, on Wednesday, the daily gains in some of the metals. So it clearly shows that something is going on in the world of commodities. Copper was up 2.5%, nickel was up 10%. And that really convinces me that we have the start of a new boom market. This was a very important line to break, important line of resistance. And I think we can say that the new boom market in commodities has finally started. So this was the low. We had a one here, two here, and now we can, um, can go up. Um, our fund is based on three pillars. pillars. Um, it, it's about discovery investing foremost. Uh, I've been on the hunt for, the, for, for the big discoveries in the last 15 years, but it's also about value investing, looking um, at undervalued companies. I love Novo, but Novo is valued quite Rich one could say, some call it cheap. But if we look at Artemis with an enterprise value of only 50, five zero, five zero million euros and all the project, projects they have, I dare to say the risk reward might even be better. So we're always looking at undervalued companies and we're hard assets, hard assets investors as well. If we look at the um, portfolio, uh, we, we used to con concentrate on North America, we still do, but we have 15-20% of our investments in Australia now because of the uh, gold-bearing conglomerates discovery. Uh, we, we love the precious metals because this is a great hatch on all monetary madness, which we've seen developing, especially in the last 10 years. But we also have base metals, uranium. So. Actually, we don't care as long as it's a great discovery made by a relative small company. Uh, although we've been in a bear market for the last 10 years, uh, our fund has grown in size. Um, we had net inflows every year, even in the worst years, 2015, 2014. So we have some very loyal um, investors, most are Dutch. We have some investors from Luxembourg, some from Hong Kong. Um, assets under management, of course, went down because of the correction between 2011 and 2015, but pick, picked up nicely in the last uh, 18 months. So we expect when this recovery gets a little bit more on steam, we expect our assets under management to grow towards 100 million quite, uh, quite soon within one or two or three years. Um, I always love this graph because it explains why discovery investing is, um, uh, can pay off very well. And I, the longer I'm studying this uh, world of resources and commodities, the, the, the more I'm convinced about, uh, um, well, this statement. If you invest in an exploration company, working on a good discovery, it can really be life-changing. Um, before I started the fund in 2006, I had a middle cope discovery alert service about new discovery, um, new discoveries worldwide, and I tipped Aurelian. It was a small exploration company, and they just hit a, a wonderful discovery hole in Ecuador, 
and look what happened to the share. Um, I bought 10,000 shares for 30 cents, pre-discovery. I was very fortunate. And they ran to $43 within nine months. And uh, I think everybody who followed the story of Novo and Artemis have seen what can happen when you're um, positioned early um, in a great discovery play. Aurelian Resources was the first fund. We started the fund in 2008. Discovery was 2006. So when we started the fund, Aurelian was one of our core positions. And Aurelian was bought out end of 2008, just after Lehman collapsed and the world was in crisis. Kinross paid $1 billion for the Frutal Donorto discovery in Ecuador. And that was the start for a long list in our fund. We've had 45 takeovers in the last uh, 10 years. The last one was uh, Alabama Graphite. Um, so we had six takeovers last year. We haven't had any this year yet, <laughs> but we look at Artemis, we look at Novo, we look at Next Gen Energy, Solgo, um, some great companies I, th I expect uh, we'll see some uh, M&A activity in the next 12 months.